The United Kingdom has taken a decisive step in strengthening European maritime defence with the signing of a £10 billion contract to supply Norway with at least five advanced Type 26 frigates. Announced by UK Defence Secretary John Healy, this landmark agreement not only secures the continued production of one of the world's most sophisticated surface combatants but also aligns the Royal Navy and the Royal Norwegian Navy on a shared operational platform optimized for operations across NATO's northern flank. The Type 26, also known as the City-class frigate, represents a new era in naval technology combining anti-submarine warfare excellence with a modular design capable of handling multiple mission types, and its adoption by Norway signals a significant step toward enhanced interoperability between allied forces. The Type 26 has been designed from the ground up to perform complex anti-submarine operations in challenging environments. Its advanced towed array sonar systems and bow-mounted sonar allow for exceptional detection capabilities, while the ship's quiet propulsion technologies minimize acoustic signatures, enabling operations in regions where submarine threats are persistent, such as the Barents Sea, the Norwegian Sea, and Arctic approaches. Norway's acquisition directly addresses the operational limitations of its aging Fridtjof Nansen-class frigates, providing a platform capable of extended patrols and high-tempo operations in extreme weather conditions. At the same time, for the United Kingdom, this export contract ensures a steady production flow at the Glasgow shipyards and strengthens the country's position as a global leader in naval technology development and defence exports. Beyond the procurement aspect, the joint UK-Norway frigate programme represents a strategic alignment of military capabilities. Both navies will operate interoperable versions of the Type 26, sharing a common hull, combat systems, and digital architecture. This standardization allows for coordinated training, logistics, and operational planning, which is particularly important in the Arctic and High North, where both nations already conduct regular winter warfare exercises and submarine tracking missions. By integrating Norway into a shared operational framework, the United Kingdom enhances its strategic reach, ensuring that task groups deployed in the North Atlantic can operate seamlessly with Norwegian units in joint NATO missions. The design of the Type 26 ensures flexibility and adaptability across a wide range of operational scenarios. Its modular mission bay allows each Navy to tailor payloads according to specific mission requirements, including strike, anti-submarine warfare, air defense, or special operations. The vertical launch system can house Sea Scepter air defense missiles, Tomahawk cruise missiles, or future land attack weapons, while the ship's 127mm BAE naval gun provides precision strike capabilities against surface and coastal targets. Additionally, the frigate's hangar and flight deck support Merlin or NH-90 helicopters equipped for both anti-submarine and anti-surface operations, extending the vessel's operational range and versatility. Unmanned vehicles, mine countermeasure systems, and special forces can also be deployed from the mission bays, ensuring that the frigate can respond effectively to a broad spectrum of maritime threats. For the Royal Norwegian Navy, the Type 26 represents a transformative leap in capability. The new frigates offer significantly greater endurance, sonar sensitivity, and operational flexibility compared with the Nansen-class ships. Norway's evolving security environment, including hybrid threats in the high north and the need to protect offshore energy infrastructure, requires a platform capable of persistent surveillance and rapid response. The Type 26 has quiet propulsion, advanced sensors, and modular mission systems make it particularly well-suited for long-duration deployments and sustained anti-submarine patrols, while its adaptability ensures it can meet diverse NATO tasking demands, from carrier strike group integration to independent operations in contested waters. Strategically, the procurement of Type 26 frigates strengthens Norway's role within NATO and enhances Allied maritime dominance across critical choke points such as the GUK Gap. 
The integration of Norway as a first export customer establishes a precedent for multinational collaboration, providing a foundation for joint operations with the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and potentially other allies adopting the Type 26 or its derivatives. This shared platform allows for harmonized training programs, maintenance regimes, and operational doctrines, fostering closer military coordination and ensuring that the two navies can operate effectively alongside one another in high-intensity scenarios. From an industrial and economic perspective, the contract provides significant benefits to the United Kingdom. Continued Type 26 production in Glasgow ensures the sustainability of the shipbuilding workforce and maintains the momentum of the domestic naval industrial base. The integration of an allied customer into the sustainment and modernization cycle allows for cost efficiencies and reinforces the United Kingdom's position as a leading exporter of advanced naval systems. At the same time, Norway gains access to one of the most capable anti-submarine platforms in the world, embedding its fleet within a multinational operating concept that enhances interoperability, tactical training, and long-term defense planning. The Type 26 is engineered to operate in some of the world's most demanding maritime environments. With a displacement of approximately 6,900 tons, it combines long-range anti-submarine capabilities with air defense, surface strike, and general-purpose functions. Its acoustic quieting measures and advanced sonar arrays are critical for detecting and tracking submarines, including potential Russian deployments in the North Atlantic and Arctic waters. By providing enhanced situational awareness, stealth, and endurance, the Type 26 ensures that both the Royal Navy and Royal Norwegian Navy can maintain persistent maritime security coverage and respond rapidly to emerging threats. The first Norwegian Type 26 frigate is expected to enter service by 2030, with subsequent deliveries extending into the mid-2030s. In preparation, both navies are already coordinating on simulator development, shared training modules, and maintenance infrastructure to ensure that operational readiness is achieved from the moment the vessels are commissioned. The alignment of hardware, personnel training, and operational doctrine underscores a broader commitment to NATO force integration and demonstrates how advanced naval platforms can serve as instruments of strategic cooperation. By embedding Norway into a multinational frigate operating framework, the United Kingdom is not only delivering advanced technology but also fostering deeper collaboration in defense strategy, operational planning, and maritime security. Overall, the £10 billion UK-Norway Type 26 frigate deal signifies more than a procurement contract, it is a strategic initiative with far-reaching implications for NATO's northern maritime posture. The combination of advanced anti-submarine capabilities, flexible mission systems, and shared operational frameworks ensures that both navies can project power, maintain situational awareness, and respond effectively to emerging threats in the high North and North Atlantic. For the United Kingdom, the deal reinforces its role as a leader in naval innovation and defense exports, while for Norway, it delivers a platform that transforms operational capability, enhances national security, and integrates the Royal Norwegian Navy into a broader allied network. As the first vessels are delivered and joint operations commence, this collaboration is set to redefine Arctic maritime defense and demonstrate the value of interoperable, technologically advanced surface combatants in safeguarding critical northern sea lanes and NATO interests.